have some tools that have made my life easier this summer. Wanted to show you guys. Check it out. So this is all on like the really high end custom home uh, aspect of ring gutters. So keep that in mind. But um, first tool is a dedicated hammer drill for uh, like really strong rock, uh, you know, attaching downspouts. I've attached gutters on like a rock deck drainage thing, <laughs> stuff like that. Dedicated hammer drill, they work so much better on really hard rock than just a drill in hammer mode. So the 12 volt uh, Milwaukee, I actually haven't even used this one yet. I've been using 18 volt. Uh, this one's a lot lighter and nicer to hold, but I don't know how much power it has yet. So I'm only drilling a 3 16th hole. I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but a dedicated rock drill, definitely worth it for fancier rock. Next up, downspout expander. This thing with stiff four inch round downspout has saved me so much time this summer. See, it's always a struggle to get like all those parts to fit together. And when you can just bell one end out, it makes everything go together so much cleaner and quicker. So that has definitely paid for itself in labor this summer. So pretty sweet. I like to use it on the 40 volt drill. Uh, just it's, it actually says not to use this on a cordless drill. So the 40 volt definitely does better with like the four inch hole saw and this thing. So I use it on the 40 volt drill. Works really good and it's uh, held up really well. And then this guy, eh, I think I got it from like e-gutters, maybe gutter supply. I, I just Googled it, honestly. Uh, this is from Rapid Materials. Oh yeah, straight from Rapid Materials. <laughs> Next up. Uh, bandsaw, portable bandsaw. I don't know why it took me so long to buy one of these, but it is like one of the handiest tools for cutting tubes that I've ever used. So you can cut like drain pipes off with it. Gives you a nice clean square cut compared to, you know, like a fane tool or a uh, sawzall or whatever. But this thing just boom, laser straight line. As long as you can hold this thing straight, gives you a nice cut, clean cut PVC. Uh, copper downspouts, bonderized downspouts, anything that you don't want to cut by hand, this thing works awesome. So this is just the 18 volt Makita version. Works really good and I should have gotten one of these a long time ago. And then last up, I found myself, you know, all this custom work you're doing a lot of rivets or I do a lot of rivets. And so I used to just swap out my bit with a uh, eighth inch drill bit for, you know, uh, eighth inch rivets. And instead of doing that, I just leave this drill together. So it's ready to screw stuff up, screw stuff up, uh, and use this 12 volt Milwaukee, uh, little impact. It's like a mini impact battery life's pretty good on it. I just use an eighth inch drill bit. So, I mean, you're using barely any of its power. You can use this in emergency. Like you say, you forget your drill at the trailer or whatever and you have an extra quarter inch bit with it, you can use this to screw screws in. You wouldn't want to do it all day long with like heavier duty screws, but works really good for its size. And it like, you can't even feel it on your bags. So it's been an awesome part of the toolkit this summer and saved me a lot of time and headache. So uh, one tool that I got that I haven't used very much that I thought I would use a bunch is an M12 Milwaukee rivet, pop rivet tool. It really it works really good and it's a nice tool, but I found it's really heavy and awkward to like carry around on your bags. So it's so simple just to have a set of hand pop rivet tools that doesn't make it worth like, you know, when you're doing corners and downspouts, all that stuff out around the house doesn't really make sense to be packing around another battery powered tool to me. So just a hand pop rivet tool thrown in my bags, super light. You know, the lighter you can keep your bags, the less wore out you're, you are at the end of the day and the longer you can, you know, keep going. So something I keep in mind, I've been doing this for 20 years. So you realize oh, if I conserve my energy, I can <laughs> make it all the way through the day without feeling like I'm dying. So anyways, 
Thanks for watching. Hope we helped you guys out. I just want to share some of our tools that have been helpful this summer. So make sure to like, subscribe. See you on the next one.